Here we have a pendulum and escapement mechanism, which is the heart of a mechanical clock. This mechanism is what keeps a precise measure of time and is responsible for the famous tick-tock sound of mechanical clocks. It is a very simple model. Let me take off the pendulum. And here we have this wheel which has a thread attached to the axis. The thread comes here and then there is a weight at the other end. In order to give power to the mechanism, we turn the wheel and the thread starts to wind in the axis. You can see how the weight is being lifted. And of course, if we release the wheel, it will start to turn because of the weight. As we could see, when the weight goes down, it makes the wheel rotate and all the potential energy is converted to rotational energy of the wheel. This happens very quickly. And that is the reason that we need the pendulum and escapement mechanism so that the energy that we have on the weight, the potential energy, is released slowly but more important at fixed intervals of time. And that is what gives the clock the ability to measure time with precision. Now let's see the mechanism in action. The wheel rotates in this direction, clockwise, so that in this part of the movement it pushes the pendulum to the left, and then it pushes the pendulum to the right. Therefore, the wheel rotates at the rhythm set by the natural movement of the pendulum. Normally, for a clock, the pendulum is designed to oscillate at precisely one second of period. And in order to have a functional clock, you will need to add a set of gears to the main wheel in order to reduce the speed enough for the movement of the hour's hand of the clock. And also another set of gears for the minute hand of your clock. Here you can see a full clock mechanism. The energy is obtained from a spring instead of a weight, as in the case of our model. And the pendulum is a torsion pendulum, you can see here, moving back and forth. And here is the escapement, is this part here, like a fork, which is moving from one side to the other. And you can see the different gears that move the hands of the clock, minutes and hours. It is more complicated, but the principle is the same. The escapement provides a precise time interval that makes the clock do its function. In the history of horology, many types of escapements were invented probably more than 100. 
This particular type of escapement is known as the McDowell escapement. It's one of the simplest, but it's also inefficient. It has a lot of friction and that makes it imprecise. However, it illustrates very well the concept of the escapement and pendulum as a time regulator mechanism. Okay, there you have it. Pendulum and escapement mechanism. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.